So let's get right into it. First of all, today we're going to look at our, we're going to concentrate on our main screen here, which is called the edit window in Pro Tools. There's two main windows as we discussed in, in the first section, the edit window and the mix window. And we're going to concentrate on the edit window. You can do almost everything in Pro Tools from this window. You can mix stuff from this window. You can do uh, lots of things. And as you can see, it's, a, it's got a lot of... Um, uh, a lot of icons and buttons and a lot of functionality and might look daunting at first but really uh, it's all there to help you uh, you know create your own music so uh, it, it, uh, it's exciting to me. Um, so let's take a look at uh, just a few parts of the screen. We're gonna we're gonna look at this top bar a little bit later and, and just go through this entire thing but first of all let's take a look to the left hand side of the screen here you have this, uh, this little sidebar, and at the top it says Tracks. And what this is, is the Show Hide uh, window. And as you can see, um, it, it says Click and Acoustic, which corresponds to our, our two tracks that we have in our session. And if I, if I click on the Click track, it makes it disappear. So this is a really great way of, you know, it, it, it hasn't deleted your track, it's just it's just, and now I've clicked on the acoustic, so it looks like there's nothing there, but now I, I can click them again and they're back. So if you have, you know, if, you, if you're trying to get rid of clutter in your session, if you've got a bunch of tracks that are muted and you're not, you're not using, you know, just you can show and hide them and it's really, um, uh, it's really a good thing and, and, can, and can make your session uh, a lot easier. Moving down from that, we have our edit groups um, uh, sidebar as well. We don't have, uh, we haven't created any groups. By default there's a group that's called All. And uh, if you click on that, then everything you do to one track it's going to do to every track. Uh, as you can see we only have two tracks in our session so that's all that it's affecting right now. But basically you, wh what you can do with groups is uh, you can uh, like let's say you have a drum kit and you got the levels just perfect um, and uh, you're mixing along and but then uh, you find that you want the whole level of the drum kit to to come up in volume well instead of going to every track and turning it up you know uh, 1 dB or whatever uh, if you've created a drum group you can just grab one fader and the, and the entire drum group will automatically turn up which is really great and um, and a lot of uh, a lot of people utilize that, and pro mixers use that definitely for uh, for their mixing, and it's and it's very handy. Now, moving across the screen to the right hand side, we have the regions bin. Now, not a lot of people use this or understand it, but if you do understand it, it can be very powerful and make uh, make your workflow a lot faster. Now, what this is is. Uh, this is, is showing you basically everything that you've recorded. Now, as you can see, we only have one track in there because that's all we've recorded in this session. But anytime I want to grab this same acoustic file, I can come over here to the regions bin and grab it, and I can drag it into my session, which I'm going to show you a little bit later. Uh, as you can see, when I, when, I, uh, when I clicked on this in the regions bin, my region over here uh, of my acoustic track became selected. It, it turned black, which means that it's selected. And that means that's corresponding to that, and that's the same thing. And we're going to get into this a little bit more uh, a little later, but uh, the region's bin is a really powerful thing. Um, one little side note, uh, if you come down here to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, there's a, there's a tiny little, <laughs> a lot of these icons are real small, but there's a tiny little double arrow pointing to the right. And if I click that, I'm going to hide my regions bin. I'll just do it for you guys. So now I have a little more workspace. So if you don't, if you're not using your regions bin or you don't, you know, you don't want to look at it or whatever, you can, you can hide that. And as you can see, there's the arrow again. And I can show and hide it. And across to the left-hand side of the screen as well, there's the same little double arrow and I can show and hide my groups and my uh, show hide track list. So if I, if I hide them both, 
you can see I have a lot of workspace. So it's a really versatile, uh, uh, you know, cool feature of Pro Tools that they allow you to show and hide these things. I'm just going to ke keep them uh, keep them up for now, uh, so we can, you know, uh, so we can use them uh, in our session. So uh, that's a real brief overview of the of the edit window.